Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I'm out in the workshop with another DIY video for you today. So you might recognize this right here. This is the soup can mic that I made quite some time ago. Um, I did a video about this and um, it's actually something like my, I think it's my fifth most popular video on YouTube or something like that. Like people really like this video and I just, took, um, I think it was about five or six dollars worth of parts and I made this microphone. And I wasn't even really sure what I was doing, but it came out really well. I use it all the time. It's been in several of my videos, so uh, you might've seen it around. But anyway, um, the same kind of idea is right here in this little microphone kit. This came from CB Giddy and um, they sell this on uh, this kit on their website. I think it's it's around like 15 or 16 dollars and it's a kit to build a DIY mic kind of similar to this but um, it's a kit so of course it's gonna be a lot nicer than me just using household materials and I figured let's give it a shot. Let's uh, let's get one of these. So here's the kit. Let's go ahead and unpack this kit real quick. So the first thing, obviously we've got some instructions here that tell you how to build it. I'm gonna set that to the side for a second. And then we've got a can and we can hear there's something inside the can. So I'm just gonna set that down for a second and we'll take a look. And then we've got a couple of these uh, foam balls here. One seems to be orange and green. I don't know if that's intentional. They look like clown noses, honestly, but they don't have the little thing. But anyway, so we got a couple of these balls. These are probably gonna be the deadening material inside the can and let's see what's in the can. So it looks like inside here we've got a piezo harness. It's just a uh, piezo disc pickup here, pre-wired to a jack. It's kind of tangled, but there we go. So nothing special there, a little piezo disc uh, harness. And then we've got a little packet with some small screws in it. Hopefully you can see that. And the can. Oh, and then inside the instructions was this little sticker here. So um, this is what kind of mimics the screen. I guess you just put this on the top of the can so you know which end to sing into, which is kind of funny because that's not really different from what I did here. I put this little piece of door screen on there and that functions for nothing other than aesthetics. It doesn't do anything for the sound. It just literally lets you know, you know, makes it look more like a microphone, I guess. So it's kind of funny that they did that too. Let's take a look at the instructions really quick. And as I suspected, it looks pretty straightforward. You need a couple drill bits and a hot glue gun and that's about it. Pretty simple kit. So let's go ahead and build this thing and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. And I'm going to add one of my own parts to the kit here, right here. This is just a scrap of, this is seven eighths inch round dowel. Um, and this is literally just a scrap that I cut off from another piece that I had laying around. And I've got an idea to use this. So more about that in a second, but let's go ahead and build us a mic. So here's my little extra thing that I wanted to do. I took this little piece of, of dowel here and I just took two small screws. I countersunk them in there so they don't stick out. And then you can see them coming out there with a little, couple little small nuts on them. And what I'm hoping is that then this will just slide right into a standard mic clip. You know, any sort of just standard kind of mic clip that'll just slide in there and then you can use this on a regular mic stand. At least that's my hope. And if nothing else, it makes a little thing to hold on to. So, we're gonna give that a shot. Let's keep moving.
Okay, there we have it. That is the completed microphone. So it looks pretty darn cool. There's kind of the all sides and the little uh, dowel I added does make a nice little grip for it, but I think it's gonna work really great if it'll fit into a mic clip. So I guess there is one thing left to do. We have to go plug this baby in. Okay, folks, here I am in the studio with the mic. I did one other quick little thing. I just wrapped a little electrical tape around that dowel just to kind of, because it looked kind of weird having the wood on there. I thought that'd tone it down a little bit. So it actually looks pretty cool. And here I have a mic stand, just a plain ordinary mic stand with one of the standard mic clips on it. So let's try this. Oh my gosh. Ah, it works. Look at that. Ah, hold on, let me loosen it so I can. That is so cool, it works perfect. Okay, I used a 7 8 inch dowel and then I wrapped that electrical tape around it and it's pretty snug. So that might be a good, you know, rule of thumb. Or maybe if you use like a one inch dowel, you might not need the tape. I don't know, that'd be some trial and error in there. But that actually works awesome. Look at this, I feel like this is an old school, like 50s style microphone, look at this. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta plug this thing in and try it. Check one, two, check one, two, one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check. This is the sound of the microphone, microphone, microphone. Bomb, 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 I want to dream lover, so I don't have to dream alone. Yeah. 